what we do here is go back, 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 back. back. Hello guys and welcome back. Well, as you all may know by now, uh, fashion designer Kate Spade uh, committed suicide on yesterday and her family is at odds. Now, Spade's older sister Rita, who was 57, made a statement to multiple outlets on Tuesday night saying she believes her su sister suffered from a mental illness for a number of years and that Spade's suicide was not unexpected by me. Now, however, a source close to the family claims Rita has long been estranged from her designer sister, whom the source says was as a kind, generous, funny, warm, and extremely private person. Now, this is making the family of Kate uh, Spade very mad about her going to these multiple outlets and saying that. Now, and they're even disgusted and saddened that at this time of great sorrow, Kate's sister, who has been estranged from the entire family, for more than 10 years would surface with this unsubstantiated comment. Now, the source said to people, her statements paid a picture of someone who didn't know her uh, at all. Now, um, Rita, however, reportedly told her local paper, the Kansas City Star, by way of email, that she and Spade spoke on the phone for six to seven hours on end prior to space death. Now, um, her sister also said three to four years that she thinks her sister suffered from mental illness and she chickened out from multiple attempts to seek treatments. And uh, she said uh, the reason that she wouldn't go um, to seek treatment is because she thought it would hurt her brand. She had this image as happy-go-lucky, and if uh, it got out that she had mental illness, you know, or a bipolar, uh, she thought that would mess up her brand. Hmm. Now, manic depressant is a term once used to describe bipolar disorder. Now, uh, in an email, uh, Kate's sister wrote, uh, I have tried to get my sister to seek treatment for her mental illness. Now, Kate was all set to go, but then chickened out by morning. And she's recalling one instance of her trying to take the beloved handbag creator to the same place that Catherine Zeta Jones went for her successful bipolar treatment program. Now, uh, her sister also adds, I've come so very close to getting her to go in for treatment. We get so close to packing her bags, but in the end, the image of her brand, happy-go-lucky Kate Spade, was more important for her to keep up. Mm. She was definitely worried about what people would say about her when they found out. Mm. Now, um, Rita, her sister, suggested that Kate had a plan to take her own life already set in motion. As uh, Kate was fixated when news broke of Robin Williams' death in August of 2014. We were freaked out, saddened. But she kept watching it, watching it over and over again. I think the plan was already in the motion, even as far back as then. Now, uh, she's referring to uh, when her sister was at a hotel in Santa Fe, uh, New Mexico, when she saw the TV news report of William's death, which was ruled a suicide. 
Now, uh, Rita also shared one of the final conversations she said she had with her sister. Now, one of the last things she said to me was, Rita, I know you hate funerals and don't attend them, but for me, would you please come to mine? At least, please. I know she perhaps had a plan, but she insisted she did not, she recalled. Now, uh, <clears throat> like I said, um, this sister Rita released a statement to CBS New York and Daily Mail that read, my little sister Katie, which, you know, um, she says that Katie was her a real name, was a precious, precious little person. Genuine in almost every way. She was surrounded by yes people for far too long. Therefore, she did not receive the proper care for what I believe to be and tried numerous times to get help for bipolar disorder. Now, steaming from her immense celebrity. She never expected it, nor was she properly prepared for it. Unfortunately, untreated, it finally took its own toll on her. Now, police confirmed that Spade was found hanging from a red scarf Tuesday morning in her bedroom at her her and Andy's Park Avenue home in Manhattan. Now, the scarf had reportedly been tied to her door. Now, her husband, Andy, was in the apartment at the time of his wife's death while their 13-year-old daughter, Frances, was at school, as reported by the Associate Press. A housekeeper discovered her, and according to a police source, she left a suicide note addressed to their only child, Frances. Oh, that is just, boy, that is. That is so sad. Anytime uh, a death occurs, you know, you're sad. But to know that a person would take their own life, you just, you know, it baffles you. But but I understand that her family may be, you know, mad at the sister for coming out and saying this about their loved one. But, you know... Hey, who knows? Um, that's what's wrong with uh, society today. They they are, you know, embarrassed of mental uh, illness. But, hey, by her sister coming out, hey, that may even save another's life. You know, that may, even if it makes one person go get treatment. Um, it's, it, you know, it's, it's, it's done and it, it, it's worth the uh, exposing, as to say. But, uh, yeah, and, and when she said, you know, happy-go-lucky, you, you you don't know, but most of the time, you know, that's just like Robin Williams. Most of the time, the ones who are the belle of the party and happy when they're by themselves, they're lonely and they're depressed, so... And a lot of people don't know about that other side because they don't show it. Mm. All right, guys. I am keeping Kate Spade's family in my prayers and hoping you do too. Thank you for watching my video. I hope you will like, share, and subscribe to my channel. And as always, in parting, y'all, be blessed. Bye. What we do here is go back, 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 back.